this week's episode of LCC Kids TV, season four, episode number 30. This week's episode is entitled Music Makers. And when I think about making music, it is literally anything you have around you can be used to make noise, like this water bottle, like your hands against whatever it is that you have around you, or your voice even. But what does making music have to do with God? Well, let's find out in this week's episode. Before we start, let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for everything that you give us in order to make music and noise. And we pray that you would open our hearts and minds and ears, that we might listen and learn from what you want to teach us today. We pray all of this in Jesus' name, amen. Well, it's time to worship! Your favorite band probably plays instruments that originated from simpler instruments used during Bible times, such as the lyre and flute. People who live during the Old Testament love music. Some of their instruments are still played today. Flutes, harps, cymbals, trumpets, and dulcimers. They made up of songs on the spot when something marvelous happened or sang sadly when someone died. The kings and queens had singers and musicians who played in royal court. court. The Psalms were often songs and King David composed of many of them. Music is a wonderful gift. Church service always includes singing, right kids? Even the angels yes. in heaven, see uh, yeah. create music for God, no? Ate Charlotte and Zeki. It can improve your mood. No, you're happy now, right? Because we're, we're worshiping Jesus. Amen. Uh, Even uh, David played music for King Saul uh, yeah. to calm him down. And help you learn. So keep the tunes in your life. God is our song. He makes our hearts happy. Yay! The Bible says in Psalms 47, 1 and 6, Clap your hands, all you nations. Shout to God with cries of joy. Sing praise to our King. Sing praise. God bless you, kids! Bye! Bye. Hi, everybody! It's the Sunshine.
Sunshine here, and I am here with my friend, Maya. Maya's Hi! Maya. And Maya and I are talking about making music! So, yeah. Maya, do you enjoy singing songs of praise to God? Yeah. Yeah, do you have a favorite one? Yes. What's your favorite song? Goodness of God. <gasps> you want to sing? No. <laughs> and I will sing of the goodness. No? No? Okay. <laughs> so, sometimes we don't always feel like we want to sing praise to God, right? Yeah. Because sometimes you feel like angry and sometimes you feel sad. How do you use music to help you in when you feel angry and when you feel sad? Or do you use music in a different way? So how do you use music? I just use it to dance. You use it to dance when yeah. you're feeling happy. Happy. Very, mostly happy. There you go. So what do you do when you feel angry and sad? How do you make yourself feel better? I just do something to distract myself. Like? Like? Yeah? On my tab. Awesome. So then you feel a little bit better, yeah? Yeah. And it's important that we can do that. Right? Yep. Awesome. Well, it was wonderful chatting with you about making music, yeah? And mm -hmm. dancing to music and all of the things, yeah? <laughs> Alright, bye bye. Woo! Alright, say bye. Bye bye. Okay, so it's time to wrap up this lesson. Ready? Let's go. What did we learn about making music? Well, first of all, people have been making music for a long time. We see in the book of Exodus at the very beginning of the Bible that God led his people on dry land through the sea. And what do they do when they get to the other side? They bust out the tambourines and they start dancing and singing praise to God because yay, God, that was amazing. And then we fast forward all the way to the, about the middle of the Bible in the book of Psalms where we see almost just about every single feeling you could possibly have all splayed through 150 Psalms. In fact, one of them, Psalm 55, says for the director of music with stringed instruments, listen to my prayer, O God, do not ignore my plea who hear me and answer me, my thoughts trouble me, and I am distraught. In other words, I'm feeling angry and confused and panicking and frustrated and sad and ah, I don't know what to do, God, please hear me. And then we fast forward all the way to the end of the Bible in the book of Revelation, where we see the angels and the saints and the elders and all the creatures and they all get together and praise God and say, holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty. And then every time anything new happens, they bust out a brand new song. Why? Well, because despite our feelings changing constantly, whether they be sad and lonely and panicking and frustrated or super joyful and excited and yay, and our circumstances changing constantly, God never stops being who he is. God never stops doing new things. He never stops being in control and amazing. He never stops being strong and mighty and big. He never stops being good and generous and kind. He never stops being present and with you. He is always good. He is always God. He is always, well, worthy of our praise. And if you know Jesus as your best friend, you know that he's unlike anyone else. So you don't need to be in church to sing songs and praises to God. You can be in your home. You can be at the grocery store. You can be out in the park. You can be anywhere and just start singing and praising God. So what's to stop you? 
Get out your instruments, get out your voice, get out your body, and sing a song that already is, or make one up of your own about whatever's going on. And who knows? What are you waiting for? As we wrap this up, two questions. Number one, what is your favorite praise song to sing to God? And do you enjoy singing? And question number two, do you use music in different feelings? Do you have a specific, or do you have favorite songs that you sing when you're feeling different feelings? As we wrap this up, let's pray. Lord, I see and I know that music is important to you. I want all of my songs to bring glory to you and bring joy. I pray all of this in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, it's time to let your light shine. Bye!